What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into tea room. Jazz said she doesn't owe Ray loyalty after being caught with her girl. <laughs> Corey done with Carmen. So now, previously, I reported that there was a TikTok going viral of Jazz and Amar out eating at a restaurant with two girls. Now, Jazz and Amar did respond to this TikTok. Oh. And in this video, they stated that they reached out to the establishment, spoke to the manager, and actually actually got the girl that recorded this TikTok fired. So the email what? from management states, hello, Amar, thank you for reaching <laughs> oh, out to shit. us and let us know and send in proof of this said incident. It is not approved by BB's text Orleans and no, we do not condone nor do we encourage what? this type of behavior from our crew. Upon receiving this email with video that goes against our employee standards, oh, the said employee shit. is no longer a part of BB's crew. We deeply apologize for any inconvenience that, so that this has caused and would like to offer you a gift card to dine with us again or another location if Period. you prefer. Please let us know how you would like to receive it through standard mail. I ain't mad at him. I'm not mad at him for that. Because, bro, why are you recording me? <laughs> or if you would like to pick it up in person, we will have it ready for you today. Just let us Damn. know at your earliest convenience. Again, we'll I am shooketh. One, one, one. Apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for letting us know so that we can handle this as soon as possible. Now, people in the comment section of that video begin to go off on Jazz and Amar for getting this young lady fired. Someone mm -mm. states, y'all record people every day without their consent having them in the background while out shopping and out to eat, et cetera. So y'all being a hypocrite and being <laughs> messy. And we all know Amar is a drunk. Another person states, if someone's TikTok upset someone this much, they won. Another person states, y'all corny as hell. Another person states, dude, you got caught. Don't be a sore loser. And y'all lame for this. Should have kept it P. Y'all didn't even have to address this. Someone else states, this some Karen. They had to make somebody an example. But I feel why like y'all would say this some Karen shit. But bro, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, why do you have to record me right now? Ish, LOL, <laughs> reporting someone like some snitches. Girl, don't be mad. You got caught out with an escort. Now, the girl that Jazz was with is actually Lanasia, which is Raysa Wavy's ex-girlfriend. Now, not to be confused with Lindasia, this is Lanasia. Now, people were stating that Jazz was wrong for this because recently, about a few weeks ago in Kiana J's video, Raysa Wavy stated that she wouldn't even look at Crystal that way because of the respect that she has for Jazz. That was a choice. The pass, Crystal. Uh, Crystal not no ugly gal, but I'll pass because I feel like, no, nah, for real, she not no ugly gal, but I feel like she. You pass her? I'll pass her only because, like, not only because, but oh, shit. I feel like I've been around, you feel me, jazz so much to where that shit mm. is weird to even say that. Like, you know what I mean? But Dang. I definitely, like, you feel me? I've been around She jazz. a pretty girl, though, but I wouldn't, like, just be on some gal. Like, niggas being loyal to niggas who ain't even being loyal to them. I smash her, like, nah. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, jazz. I'll smash her. Yeah, okay. Crystal pretty girl though for sure though, but nah, I passed though for sure, sure. But you still pretty friend, no cap, you still pretty. So a lot of people were even upset with Jazz for talking to Ray's ex after Ray held such loyalty to her. Well, this was Jazz's response to owing anyone any type of loyalty that isn't her friends yeah, first thing i want to say i don't owe nobody no loyalty or none of that shit besides my mans that i wake up with every day if you're not here around me every day we don't wake up we don't grind together we don't argue together we don't cry together we don't go through obstacles together we don't hang on the regular together we don't chill we don't know each other parents we don't go out of town together i don't owe you like hey you know how you know where that is i don't go. owe you no loyalty so let's i'm with on that though i am I don't even know why Ray felt like she owed a loyalty. Clear that up. Now let's get so Ray did post. Now Ray be dead ass wrong. She get the smack and uh crystal from the Benak. Okay. Getting them cheeks from the Benak. Okay. This is like my get back year and not on no revenge shit. More like I'm back to myself, really just back in that mode and reach my fullest potential. This is 
was like my get back year and not I don't think she was referring to this to be friends with Ray's ex now they stated that they were just friends they were out eating with friends no date no messing around nothing like that but you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey now recently I reported that it appears that Carmen and Corey are trying to work things out now I also <sighs> stated I didn't know if Carmen was doing this for her or sometimes it's best to leave a person in the past if that's where they constantly want to live you can change your life and be better but if you allow someone to knock you off your focus maybe it's time to separate from them and just let it be just some food for thoughts don't lose yourself over someone who lost who's lost eh, no matter how much you love them just for the kids no Corey went on to instagram and he stated sometimes it's best to leave a person in the past if that's where they constantly want to live you can change your life and be better but if you allow someone to knock you off your focus Maybe it's time to separate from them and just let it be. Just some food for thoughts. Don't lose yourself over someone who's lost, no matter how much oh, you love crazy. them. Seven, then he seven, goes seven on to chat. state, Damn. go be happy for real. Life is life and it's a lot of it to live. Don't be stuck miserable because nobody, you'll be a fool. Now, obviously this appears- I wish he stopped telling us that and tell himself that. To be a message to Carmen and to himself. He's stating that if Carmen can't get over what has happened in the past, then maybe he just needs to leave her in the past. But Carmen was already moved on and trying to heal. But then Corey was like, no, he wants her back playing all these games. Now that he has her back and Carmen isn't happy instead of trying to work on that and work on himself more, knowing that she's still healing from all of the hurt in the past, Corey is ready to throw in the towel. Good. Then I believe what's going to happen again is if Carmen <coughs> does decide to go back to Houston and completely forget about Corey and move on with her life and meet someone else, then Corey probably will be back at her doorstep. Yes. Now, obviously, they have two kids together. And I think, of course, Carmen loves Corey, but sometimes you have to love people from a distance because that person can sometimes just take your inner peace away now like i stated carmen was working on herself of course she still had her days i'm pretty sure i mean she was in a relationship with corey for quite some time so it was going to take her some time to fully get over that but she was working towards it then corey comes back and now she's back in this mess yet she should never went back to him Again, now you can tell like by some of the At things all. that Carmen has been posting that she's not necessarily <clears throat> happy. Now Corey is telling her to go be happy. After he took her from her home in Houston, brought her to Alabama, Carmen had a lot of good things going for her. She was she rebuilding did. her YouTube. She was making shows. She was hanging out with people. She was regaining her inner peace. Corey interrupted that. Then he tells her to go be happy. Now she's back in Alabama with Corey. They're staying with his sister and his sister doesn't even really want them there. Child. And I say that because she made this post on Facebook. Now this person stated, you ever miss your niece, nephew, then get around them and be like, oh, hell no. Damn. Corey's sister stated currently. Now you guys Damn. know the kids are with them as well so as always you guys leave your opinions on this whole situation down in the that's comment crazy. section below <laughs> now that's just my opinion on everything and how i'm thinking things are going i mean obviously it's going to take some work carmen is still not healed and if Corey wanted her back then he should have realized that before he disrupted what <sighs> she had going on it's almost like he doesn't necessarily want to be with her but then he doesn't want her with anyone else but either i'm gonna have you or nobody will that's just my Period. opinion as always you guys leave your opinions down in the comment section below all right y'all i'm done with this video y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hey yeah